So what I'm saying to you is firstly, see this as your relationship with God. If you've got questions that you want to ask me personally, look at all of the material that's on the net now and watch all of that first and then after all of that material is presented and you still feel none of it applied to you, then maybe come up and ask me. Does that make sense? That's what I feel. That's what I would do myself if I, if I was listening to that material. Now, I'm not trying to make myself inaccessible. What I'm trying to say to you is that if I give my time to you for two hours, then you need to respect the fact that I've loved you for two hours and I need to have a bit of personal time now to go and have a bit of fruit to eat and maybe go to the toilet, which I needed to do, so that we can come back at the time that I said, which was now 25 minutes ago or whatever it is, rather than rather than be 25 minutes late, which affects all of you in the end, doesn't it? It affects all of our discussion then. And this is where we need to look at where we often become quite self-absorbed or selfish in our feelings. We want something specifically for ourselves, but we're willing to sacrifice the good of everyone for ourselves. And this is a very common emotional injury that needs to be addressed. Why do we want to sacrifice other people for our own emotion? Right? For the, really, in the end, for the avoidance of our own emotion in most cases. So my suggestion is, if you feel like you need to ask me something, look at why you're asking me rather than God. Does that make sense? Now I don't mean to, now all of you go depressed on me, right? <laughs> what's, what's that about? What's going on there? <laughs> Allow yourself just to feel about this issue, right? Many of you, and, and one of the reasons why we have stopped staying with people, myself and Mary, is because every time we stay with somebody, they then feel it's a carte blanche, basically, to from dawn to dusk, question me, right? So, so I come along and do a presentation and then we stay with somebody and from dawn to dusk there's question after question after question after question after question and well, I don't get time to live any of my own life, I don't get time to enjoy Mary, Mary and myself don't get time to deal with our own emotions and, and so in the end it got that way that we can't stay with anyone because it was just like this constant barrage, if you like, of demands that are coming. And it's a very big issue that we face. You see, once we start progressing spiritually and then we get stuck, we then want somebody else to get us over that hump. But the truth is we're stuck because we have resistance inside of ourselves. And if we talk to God about our resistance, if we talk to God about what we're afraid about and why we want to resist, then we'll progress much more rapidly on this path. The more dependent you become on me, the less you're on the path. Does that make sense? That's very important to understand because this path is not about AJ reliance. Then it would be like your pathway to AJ, right? And trust me, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want a pathway to God and all I'm doing to you is explaining to you this pathway to God. That's all I'm doing, right? And that is something that you can practice yourself and it's going to require diligence, humility, desire for truth and love in your life. So examine where you're not being loving in your own life. And this is why I bring it up is because sometimes many come up to me. Now some come up to me and just give me a hug. Now of course, that's pretty loving. And they ask me how I am. But it's very rare by the way. In almost, almost every session, I rarely ever get asked a personal question about how I am. Right? But I get asked lots about, can you tell me about this? Can you tell me about that? Can you, you know, lots of stuff. Which could, we could easily be asking in this public setting, could we not? And the only reason why we don't is because we're afraid of something. We're afraid of maybe exposing our personal life. We're afraid of exposing our personal emotion. But what's the divine love path about? Being real everywhere. So, so if you're afraid about exposing your personal emotion, then are, are you being real now? You need to deal with, feel with this, feel 
this fear that you have instead. So from now on, I will not be answering any personal questions except in the forum that we're here right now. Does that make sense? And I'm doing this to show to you that you are able to ask questions without judgment in a forum like this because when I notice any judgment coming from anyone else, I'll point it out to them that they're judging you. Right? What we want to do is get to the stage where we can be totally open, totally honest and totally free with each other emotionally. That's where we want to go with this. And we want to be able to feel that this entire place is like just this sanctuary of openness and reality where we're being emotionally real with each other constantly. That's what we want. And where you're not reliant on me to progress to God, but rather you just rely on God in your progression to God. Now, I'm perfectly happy to give you all the truths I know and as time, as I progress, there'll be more of those truths that I'll be able to tell you. But don't feel that you need me in order to get to God. Right? Because these truths are now out there, that's all you need to get to God. And that's all you need to attract your soulmate, which is the subject that we've been discussing. And if you can just allow yourself to feel about that, then that will help you a lot with those projections. Dennis, could we have a mic up there? No worries, Dennis. What, what are you thanking me for? <laughs> yeah. No worries. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> One of the things I had to do personally all the way through my own progression is to look at my own feelings that were a lack of love, right? And one of the biggest things that was really hard for me to face was that every time I had an expectation of someone else, I was out of harmony with love. So even if I had an expectation that they treated me nicely, I was out of harmony with love. If I had an expectation for them to love me, I was out of harmony with love. If I had an expectation that they care about me, I was out of harmony with love. And what I'm trying to do here with you is start addressing those expectations with you as well. Does that make sense? Why do you expect these things? Why do you expect that I can actually sit up the front and talk for two hours and then also give you personal attention? Can you imagine as this grows, and it's going to grow, right? As it grows, what do you think is going to finish up happening? There's going to be a million people you know, emailing AJ. And then after a while, you know, you're going to have a million people emailing you because you know me. Are you going to be able to handle that? No, you're not. And nor am I, right, in terms of physically handle that. So I'm not saying this out of pride or anything. I'm just saying that the truth grows, right? When the truth is spoken and it's told, it grows. It's going to grow. This is why it's growing. It's going to continue to grow. You're going to be people in the end who will be looked upon just like you're looking upon me at the moment. And I'm saying you're going to need to resist it just as much as I'm trying to resist it with you. Does that make sense? Because in the end, this is not about you. It's about their relationship, whoever is contacting you, with God. And all you need to do is tell the truth of that and then they need to desire something from that. 